Hey, Radians here. Let's implement a list reordering feature in React app backed by DynamoDB database using React Beautiful D&D library. Here I have my productivity app increaser, where you can track daily habits for better sleep, mood or productivity. Recently some users asked for a drag and drop support to organize habit items by priority. I store habits as an attribute of the user table item. Instead of using a list, I keep them as a record with the ID as a key. That way, when the user changes a single habit in the app, we only need to update that specific record element rather than changing the whole list and causing a more expensive operation. When the user drag the habit to a new position, we update only a single habit by changing its order attribute. This attribute doesn't have any meaning in a context of a single item and is only used to sort habits between each other. And here comes the front-end function we use to get a new habit order after moving an item from a position with the source index to a new one with destination index. When we move the item to the first position, we assign its order to the smallest one minus one. And we apply a similar logic when moving to the end of the list. Since the order is a floating number, we can always increase it by half a distance between the neighboring items. While there are other libraries for dragging elements, I've already used React Beautiful DD at a job, and it designed specifically for moving items between lists. We wrap that list with drag drop contacts and provide callbacks. In the habit list, we only want to know about the drug end, so we can call the API and update the list. Then we render droppable and container for the habits. While we always use flexbox gaps attribute to create a space between items, the library doesn't support it, so we had to use margins. We wrap the habit item with a druggable component with two required parameters, id and index. Since we store the habits in the context, we don't need to provide the index as a property to the active habit component and instead get it with the index of method. When dragging the item, we slightly rotate the card for a better UX. It's possible to show a customized placeholder like a shadow under the drag element, yet it requires some extra work since React Beautiful D&D doesn't provide such customization and we have only a transparent placeholder option. To improve your work habits and increase your performance, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.